So I am just going to create a quick little energy sketch of this kitty. Just kind of getting the shapes in. You know, correcting as I go. That's what this stage is all about. I just want to capture the energy and the feeling of this kitty cat. Laying down. And I am using just a wearing out ballpoint pen. I love working in these. And the reason I love working in these is because I can really, I can create these energy drawings, which I do a lot of circular motion. I do a lot of going around and around as I correct. And so I can do that with the with the pen that's wearing out without over overwhelming the drawing with too much ink. And the thrifty soul in me likes it because I'm using every last drop of ink. So I'm just going for shapes here to start with. Gesture drawing. I do some measuring, you know, just to check to see that I got things right. You know, I eyeballed that. It's about the same width from here to here as it is from here to here. And I eyeballed that and then just checked it. And it always feels great to know that what I eyeballed ends up turning out correct. <clears throat> getting some paw shapes in here. You gotta feel for that that's the correct spot for that paw. that a lot of the times um, for people to learn it's really watching me draw is one of the most valuable things even if I'm not doing a lot of talking and I often get quiet because I'm concentrating Drawing can be a messy pursuit at times, that's for sure. Kind of mucked up here where I got this one leg. Um, so I'm just working on repairing it. Get to the stage in a drawing like this where I've made some mistakes and you know that's where a lot of people would give up and say oh it's not good enough I didn't do it right but this is just a learning stage and I use a lot of ink here while I correct and learn so if I gave up on everyone that didn't start perfect I would never get anywhere what happens is you end up just giving up on everything and giving up as an artist altogether feeling like I've got this cat kind of scrawny. 
So I'm going to go up here more. So I end up with a lot of extra lines. I'm not too worried about it. It's a sketchbook. I'm learning. I'm learning each time I draw. It never ends. The learning never ends as long as you keep drawing. And do you see what I mean? If I was using a good new pen here, I would have ended up overwhelming this drawing with ink already. And also wasting a good pen when I can use up a one that's running out. That's where the paw kind of turns. Once I feel more confident in that the that my shapes and things are the way I want them, then I start putting in some darker lines. Well, I gotta place those eyes. And bring a line across here. That's gonna be the tops of the eyes. And then I'm gonna come down like this. That's going to be about, that's going to be about the bottom of the eyes. And then I'm bringing lines down from the ears here. So this is going to be the corner of the eyes. So I'm going to fit the eyes into there. And I really get a feel for whether I feel like that is actually looks good for where the eyes are before I continue. And then I just get the eyes in, you know, just some ovals. It's very rough yet. You can get some triangle in here going between the eyes and the nose. Get that mouth happening. You make it look like the cat's actually laying flat against the floor. So we're getting there. Kind of looks like a weird ant's body or something there for now, but that's okay. need a bit of proper um, anatomy here. It was a bit confusing there. So this is actually the, the pattern, the markings. It's got a, the cat has a white bib in here and this is kind of where it's got more tabby stripes and stuff. So I'm just mapping the kitty out. This paw kind of goes out of the picture, and I'm just going to leave it at that. 
So now I'm going to strengthen up with these lines, some of these lines that I feel more confident about. Some of the lines that I'm happy about being in the right place. Maybe add a few tabby stripes, just a hint. Once you get the eyes in it, it really starts to come to life. A bit of a crooked nose there. That's okay. The shape of the eyes also shapes the face. Because, you know, the eyes are in a socket, so you got to pay attention to the way the edges actually go around the cat's head. So around this round cat's head. You know, this is kind of the brow here. And the bridge of the nose. So all that, when you pay attention to the shape of the eyes, it accommodates for that. And oh, I love these stripes by the eyes. I always accentuate them a bit because... I feel like they kind of make my kitty look like it's wearing glasses. Kind of cute. Tabby stripes, the classic M on the forehead. You just kind of got to decide what is important on the cat and what would be just too much information and confuse the viewer's eye as to where to look. So for me, it's kind of the facial features. I like to get a bit of a Smile in there. The eyes, the tabby straight, the tabby, um, the M on the forehead. That's an important part for me. You know, kind of those white markings around there. We don't want too much information. Less is more. And I'm not filling a whole lot in on this side of this ear because it is mostly it's really rough edges here with the hair coming out so if I fill it in it just it won't have that hairy look whereas this ear we're seeing it mostly straight on so the hair isn't going past here if that makes sense I'm just going to take a line around this way, follow it to kind of plant that cat on the floor where it's laying. And this is a bit long. Sometimes even when I'm done, you know, I I form those shapes just because it really adds a lot of movement and energy and unity to the drawing. You know, the eye sockets kind of, it really helps shape the cat's face, especially. You see the subtle shape I've given it there. 
So this whole round, these half rounds that form the muzzle. I want to make this look more like it's actually that these lines are because of the markings. So I'm strengthening up the tabby stripes a bit here. I don't want them too strong because I feel like if they're too strong, um, they take away from other things. They kind of dominate and take over. Getting there. Kind of giving some shape and energy to that paw too. I kind of want bigger pupils. I'd like it to be more rounded here, but I feel like I've given it a lot of ink here, so it's it's kind of hard because it, when I try to make it rounded, I ended up putting too much ink down. Imagine what it would be like if I was using a good pen. Um, so we'll just leave it at that and call it practice because there's a lot of things I do like about it. I feel like those eyes flow together better now. It's I've got a bit of extra shape here, but or extra dark here, but that's okay. It can be a bit of shadow. And it's all part of the learning process. Just a hint.
not going to do too much more to that little practice sketch. I will sign it when it's dry. So I hope you learned something and thanks for watching. There'll be lots more.